An aortic dissection occurs when there is a tear in the intima, allowing blood to flow into the aortic wall and dissect the layers apart. Risk factors for aortic dissection include hypertension, connective tissue disorders such as Marfan's, and smoking. Patients usually describe a sudden onset chest pain which is tearing in character and radiates to the back. Patients are usually tachycardic, hypotensive, and some may present with radioradial delay and unequal blood pressures. Chest x-ray may show a widened mediastinum. However, the modality of choice for diagnosing aortic dissection is CT angiogram. Echo may also be useful, particularly when there is aortic regurgitation, and ECGs may show ST elevation in a minority of patients. Aortic dissection management depends on where the aortic dissection occurs. If it occurs in the proximal aorta, that's the ascending aorta and the aortic arch, it's termed a type A aortic dissection, and these are managed surgically, usually with an aortic graft. If it occurs in the distal aorta, this is termed a type B aortic dissection, and this is managed medically by controlling the blood pressure, usually with medications such as beta blockers.